On sports business at this hour, a check based billionaire is within days of agreeing the purchase of a big stake in West Ham United that could lead to a full takeover. Daniel Krestensky, who owns the Czech top flight side Sparta Prague, has big stakes in Royal Mill and Jess Sainsbury and is in advanced talks to acquire a 27% stake in the Premier League club. The transaction could be announced as soon as the first weekend of November when West Ham United takes on Liverpool at London Stadium. Financiers have disclosed that the deal is expected to include an option to take full control of West Ham United after an unspecified period. Mr. Kristensky's initial stake purchase is likely to value the club at between £600 million and £700 million, according to an individual that is briefed on the transaction. Kristensky proceeds to take full control of West Ham. It would end the decade-long control of David Gold and David Sullivan, who acquired the club in 2010. If confirmed, it would be the latest in a series of major deals involving Premier League clubs following the controversial sale of Newcastle United to a Saudi-led consortium. A minority stake in Wolverhampton Wanderers also changed hands in recent weeks as clubs seek to fortify their balance sheets in the aftermath of the COVID-19 pandemic. Mr. Kretensky, who owns assets in the energy, media, industrial and retail sectors, has become a significant player in corporate Britain and now ranks as the largest shareholder in Royal Mail and the second largest in Sainsbury. And still talking sports business, U.S. betting and fantasy sports company DraftKings has ended its 22.6 billion U.S. dollars pursuit of U.K.-based company N10. After recently extending its negotiating period for six months to secure the acquisition, DraftKings has now become the second U.S. company to walk away from a deal with N10 after MGM's $11 billion deal was turned down in January. Due to British legislation, the gambling company DraftKings is now unable to submit an additional bid for N10, which owns numerous betting brands, including Landbrooks, Coral, and Bewin, for at least six months. N10 revealed the initial proposal from DraftKings in September, with a U.S. betting company offering $3.86 per share to be paid in both stock and cash. The DraftKings deal was said to be complicated by MGM Resorts and N10's co-ownership of the BetMGM. And that's it on Sports Updates. I'm Samson Oleide.